Good morning, everybody. This is Don Palm, the Hall of Fame Veterans Sports Cards and Collectibles coming to you with a 1991 The Leaf Set Series 1 set preview. And then after that, followed by People and Places sneak peek preview. After my Looney Tunes series, we're going to be kicking off this series. And then but first, we'll all do the leaf set, the people and places preview, and then the bipster box will be our final part for today's stream. Who would have guessed the Diamondbacks are ahead of the Padres and the Mariners in second place? Not this fan. <laughs> Actually, the Mariners are tied with the Padres record, believe it or not in the American League and National League. But Donald is here. We're going to go to 1002 for since I pushed the wrong button and thought I was live and I looked up and seen I didn't push it. But we will see. So all the entries from 1001 and 1002 will count. So we got the Bipster. Number five is the max per first in the chat. Big Ray, Bip, I'll just call you Bip, it's easier, I'm writing old Bipster out of there, Big Rays, and let's see, so we got the Bipster, Big Rays, we got one, two, three, four for the Bipster so far, one, two, three, make, make sure here, we got, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five for Bipster. Big Ray has one, two, three. I don't know if Big Ray's going to get any more out there. Big Ray's got four. Is Big Ray going to make five entries? Is Big Ray going to make five entries? 10.02. 10.02. One. 10.02. But Bipster's already maxed out. All right. We do have 10.03 on my reader board. So it looks like Bipster's got five. And Big Ray's got four. Four for Big Ray. One, two, three. Wait, no, maybe Bip, I think Big Ray did get five. One, two, three, four. Nope, Big Ray got four. One, hold on, I'm looking at the timestamps again. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four for Big Ray and five for Bipster. So let me get you guys into the wheel of names really quicker. And then we will go over a recap of what we are going to do today. In my quest to complete the complete, get it? Complete the complete. <laughs> I'll explain that in just a second here. Okay, let me get into my computer here and get in here for... Uh, the Bipster of all things wax packed with his five entries. Okay. I got Bipster in there. Now let me get Big Ray here. There we go. We can get four here from Big Ray right there from that big grooving. Get this in here really quick. Paste. All right, now we have so far 453 entries. I wonder if we can make it to 500 by the time Friday gets here. Close to end of stream on Friday. We'll see if we can get to 500 entries into the Wheel of Names. 
No lizard on washing machine today. I checked. Okay there, Bibster. That's a good thing. If you start having a, a lizard camping out in, inside your house, you might be stealing some of your food. <laughs> was it a big lizard or a little lizard? Probably it was probably a little lizard. I always like playing with little lizards. Kind of like little geckos. All right, so we got the entries in there. Let me go back really quick to um, where I can see my screen. So here we go. You can see it right here. We're going to do the leaf set. I'll get, there is one card missing from series one, but in lieu of that, I was able to find one card in the back here from series two. Here I thought, uh, I kind of had this box out and I thought that was, I thought I didn't have this on here. And I looked up and I was like, wait a minute, 1991 Leaf? Um, it did say Leaf Series 1. I did have a 1 there. So, but uh, it has the first 264 cards. And then in Series 2, there's another 264 cards. Plus, there's, I believe it's 26 of the rookie type cards, the BC ones. The BC 1 through, thir through 26, I believe, is in the actual set. Let me, uh, let me check really quick the stats on the trading card database. I have them here. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the gold rookies, what they consider the gold rookie cards, which is they, they do have the base ones. Yeah, 26 cards. 26 cards. And of course, the rookies that we can find in this first set here are uh, in series one, which goes up to 264, is uh, Craig Wilson, Wes Chamberlain, Pedro Munoz, uh, Randy Tomlin, Rich DeLucia, Brian McRae, and Paul Marek. Of course, your better Hall of Famers are in your series two. Um, I'm trying to remember who is in the series two. It looks like uh, Dave Howard, Mark Lee, Jeff Gray, Mark Leonard, Heath Slocum, Darren Holmes, Chris Knobholt, Steve Decker, Chris Donalds, Rich Rodriguez, uh, Turner Ward, Denny Neagle, Larry Cassian, Steve Chitron, Orlando Merced, Al Osuna, Bob Scanlon, Alonzo Powell, and Mike Timlin, and our notable Hall of Famers in Series 1 that we should see in this set here is uh, Craig Biggio, John Schmoltz, Lee Smith, Ozzie Smith, Ricky Henderson, Robin Yelp, Eddie Murray, Greg Maddox, Barry Larkin, Tom Glavin, Harold Beans, Ryan Sandberg, Kirby Puckett, Rich Gossage, Larry Walker, and George Brett is on the final card in Series 1, The Checklist. So that gives you a little recap of what cards we'll see in this stream to this morning. But then, um, I, I'm pretty sure I do, but we'll see if I have some Leaf Series 2 and or Series 1 cards for our Throwback Thursday tomorrow. So we might have two days of 1991, uh, the Leaf set. But I'll go into that in just a minute here. But we will be doing the leaf set. We'll be doing the preview for the people and places. And then we'll be doing, as requested from yesterday, since I had to go out uh, and have a lunch and an afternoon out with our pastor and his wife, which we enjoyed. And it was actually pretty, a very fun day. I actually bumped into a guy at an antique mall that was a baseball card aficionado. <laughs> kind of like Bipster is. Sorting cards of players with themes starting with the letter of A. 643 players all time with A as their last name. That is going to be a long sort there, Bipster, just getting through the A's. All right. So we do have 1010. So I'm going to put the people in places out of the way for now. Just going to set it aside here for now. And we are going to go through, I'm going to highlight, this is actually card one in the set here. You know what, I'm going to 
raise these cards up so you can see a better picture of them when I put them there. How's that sound? Put that right there like that. Oh, oh I'm going to have to scooch it over a little bit. So that is card number one from the leaf set. Sounds like a fun... Oh, he's going to do the whole alphabet. He's just starting on the A's. <laughs> He's just starting on the A's. But yeah, that's going to be an interesting one there. For sure. So we've got Chuck Dupree in here. The Bipster of all things wax packed. And we've got big raised ball cards. And auctions in the house. So far chatting in the house. So we're going to go through this set. I'm going to read the back of this card here because it does have some interesting information on it. And then I will show you the back of this card. The Leaf Set. It was the first post-war baseball card set issued in color. It's on display in the Hall of Fame. And according to Dr. James Beckett in his 1991 special Americana baseball card price list, a complete set of the 1948-1949 leaf cards is valued at $26,000. This, this was back in 1992, or 91, sorry. Um, so that would have been pretty interesting. This set captured baseball's legends as no other set had done before. In doing so, it set standards that determined the direction of baseball trading cards would take for generations to come. When the Leaf set was reintroduced in 1990, it hit a grand slam home run with collectors. The 1991 Leaf set promises to be equally popular, with tamper-proof packaging and a player selection that reflects off-season trades each 264 card series solidly reflects the standard of excellence established by the 1990 leaf set and to further enhance the 1991 edition we've introduced a series of randomly inserted gold leaf cards honoring this season's most promising rookies and added a special foil puzzle of Hall of Famer Harmon Killebrew so that is the back of the set here. And as we go through this one, let me scooch this over and make a little room here. We'll put that there. I will go through and highlight each of these cards in the set here. And I'll see if I can work it and probably put these off to the side down here. But we'll just go through them really quick here. Now I won't spend a whole lot of time on each one, but Kurt Stillwell. Let me, I'm going to scooch this forward and I'm going to have to block your Bipster box off for now there, baby, to, to allow these cards to, to fit on the screen a little bit more. Okay, well, we got Kurt Stillwell here with the Kansas City Royals, followed by Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt with the Texas Rangers, followed by, we've got, uh, Tony Phillips, Tony Phillips, with the, bop, 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 bop. can't see their uniform there, that looks like the Detroit Tigers, okay, uh, followed by Scott Geraltz, Scott Geraltz with the San Francisco Giants, followed by Greg Swindell with the Cleveland Indians, Followed by Billy Ripken with the Baltimore Orioles. Followed by Dave Martinez with the Montreal Expos. That's a nice little action shot there. Back up against the Ivy back there. Next we got Kelly Gruber with the Toronto Blue Jays. Followed by Juan Samuel. Second baseman. And next we got Brian Holman with the Seattle Mariners. Then we got Hall of Famer Craig Biggio with the Houston Astros. Then we've got Lonnie Smith with the Atlanta Braves. 
And we've got Ron Robinson with the Milwaukee Brewers. Mike Lavalier with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Mark Davis. I think that's with uh, the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Jack Doherty with the Texas Rangers. Uh, Mike Henman with the Detroit Tigers. Let's see. Chuck Dupree says, What is everyone's favorite set of cards ever? Just one set. Mine is 72 tops. Mine is 1984 tops. Mine is the 1984 still. Even though I'm working on a new set. <laughs> All right. So Mike Greenwell with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Dave Magadan with the New York Mets. Uh, Mark Williamson with the Baltimore Orioles. Marquis Grissom with the Montreal Expos. Uh, Pat Borders with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Mike Siosa with the Dodgers. Sean Dunstan with the Chicago Cubs. Randy Bush with the Minnesota Twins. There's John Schmaltzy, Hall of Famer for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, 1957 is a gorgeous set also. <laughs> that is that is a nice one too. Right now my oldest complete set is still the 8, 1980. Hold on a second. Let me, I don't want to miss, miss speaker. Yeah, the 1983 tops. I do have a 1983 top set that I'm trying to figure out. Right now I got it in a box here. I got it in a box here, but that is now currently my oldest complete set. My oldest complete set. Okay. Chuck Krim with the Milwaukee Brewers. Next, we got Don Slott with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Mike McFarland with the Kansas City Royals. Um, back in 20 minutes, honeydew list action needed. Honeydew action list. <laughs> Wally Joyner with the California Angels. Uh, Pat Combs with the Philadelphia Phillies. Then we've got Tony Pena here with the Boston Red Sox. Howard Johnson with the New York Mets. Then we've got Leo Gomez. Leo Gomez with the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Spike Owen with the Montreal Expos. And we've got Eric Davis with the Cincinnati Reds. Then Roberto Kelly with the New York Yankees. Uh, Jerome Walton with the Chicago Cubs. Next we've got Shane Mack with the Minnesota Twins. My oldest complete set would be 1980 Tops. That is cool there, Chuck. <clears throat> uh, all right. Kent Mercer with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, B.J. Serhoff with the Milwaukee Brewers. Then we've got uh, Jerry Brown with the Cleveland Indians. We've got Lee Smith. Is he, Lee, is he Smith's Hall of Famer, right? Yep, Lee, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer for the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Chuck Finley 
with the California Angels. I like the design of the 91 a leaf here because it looks like they're, they're pictures in a photo album, you know, with those little corners on them. That makes, I think it makes them pop out. Like, like it's like you cut a, a piece out of your photo album to put it into the card set. There we go. All right, Terry Mulholland with the Philadelphia Phillies. We've got Tom Bolton here with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Tom Herr with the New York Mets. Uh, Jim Deshales with the Houston Astros. So out of the Series 1 set here, when I verified it last night, I thought I was going to be previewing the complete set for you. But I'm actually missing one card. And good thing I didn't sell this at my at my uh, garage sale when I did it uh, two years ago, because it was missing a card, card number 149. So I still have to car find card number 149. And uh, when we when I do get to that one, I'll kind of mention that. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a complete set, but it is missing one card only. So I will either try and find that in a pack of cards that we're going to try and open tomorrow, or I will find somebody that sells the one individual card. But I do have to work on uh, getting... And if I would have known that, I think I saw in one of the antique shops the, the Leaf 1991 Series 2. I should have bought that box when I was there. If I... <laughs> If I only thought or thunk. But uh, me and my wife had a good time there. We'll probably go back to the small town and go to their antique shops again. And maybe I'll pick up that box of wax that I saw there. All right. But then we, so we, that's uh, Walt Weiss with the Oakland Athletics. Then we have Hal Morris with the Cincinnati Reds. Hal Morris with the Cincinnati Reds. We got uh, Lee Gutterman with the New York Yankees. We got Paul Asenmacher with the Chicago Cubs. We got Brian Harper here with the Minnesota Twins. Looks like he's getting a, a pop-up behind the plate or something. Uh, Paul Gibson with the Detroit Tigers. Ethan's Elvis covers and Moore's in the house. Yeah, you can mention in your in the channel here if you want to there, Ethan. Don't know a lot of people. We got five people watching. Ethan's Elvis covers him more with a howdy partner. Cowboy eyeballs, little dog, and emoji action going on there. We got a commercial break time out here. Let me get Ethan's two entries into my wheel of names for the month of April which the drawing will be taking place on Friday. I'll be having my big sale on Saturday. Okay, let me get Ethan's two entries in here for that $2 Super Chat. All right, Ethan, you are now on my Wheel of Names for the April drawing. We now have 455 entries into the Wheel of Names. So we're getting pretty close to the fifth tier on my giveaway. Uh, we're already giving away four gifts. We could make it to five by Friday. We'll see if we make it to 500 entries here. Okay, so um, we will get ready to see what happens here. Okay, let me get back in the stream here. Thanks, Sir Ethan. Hope everyone is doing well. Just finished my last class for junior year. That is cool. So next year is going to be your senior year, and you'll be you'll be graduating from college next year. That is cool, there, Ethan. All right now, we got John Burkett with the San Francisco Giants. We got Doug Jones with the Cleveland Indians. 
Then we've got Jose Aguendo with the Cincinnati Reds. Or is that the nope, St. Louis Cardinals? I knew it was a red uniform. <laughs> uh, Dick Schofield with the California Angels. Um, Dickie Thon with the Philadelphia Phillies. No problem. Probably five of the 149. I have a lot of this from completing. Oh, okay. Is that is that a fact there, Big Ray? That is cool. Yeah, if you could just send me one of the one of the 100 card number 149, um, which is let me just verify really quick here. We'll take a quick training time out here. Um, let me go here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get back to the main screen here. Yeah, one card number 149 is Travis Fryman with the Detroit Tigers. That is the only one in the Series 1. And then I pretty much need the complete series too. I've got one card that I found so far in my cards. But I might have some more. It's just where they're at right now. It'd be pretty, it'd be like trying to find needles in hay, in, a, in a haystack. So I'm gonna work on maybe a different channel. Maybe uh, maybe try and buy a, a box of if I can find the nine, 91 Leaf Series Two box. And then open that on the channel and try and complete the set that way. But we will see what happens there. Um, Travis Fryman is what I heard. Yes. Yeah, that's I got that from the trading card database here. And then... Uh, then I need from card number 265 through the end of the set. But that'll be for another time. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. So Ramon Martinez with the Dodgers. That's actually a sideways card. I don't know why I had it facing the other way. All right. That was card number 61. Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner with the Seattle Mariners. I will look tonight for... Oh, no, no problem there, Big Ray. That way at least I'll have Series 1 complete and then work on Series 2 and try and get the the BC 1 through 26 set, which is 13 in Series 1 and 13 in Series 2. Jay Buhner with the Seattle Mariners. Mark Portugal with the Houston Astros. Uh, uh, Chuck says, I remember your first sale, even. Bob Welch with the Pittsburgh Pirates. That fit? No, yeah, no, the Oakland Athletics. I was close. There we go. The all famous Chris Sabo with the Cincinnati Reds. And yes, he does have his glasses on. Of course, this is about the best focus right here. If I move too close to the webcam, it gets super blurry. Super blurry. Pro Probably how Chris Sabo is without his glasses on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chuck Carey for the New York Yankees. Chuck Carey for the New York Yankees. Then we got Mark Langston for the California Angels. All right. Bob or Joe Boever with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Ethan Bipster. Ethan. Uh, uh, I was sub number 379. Uh, Jody Reed. Jody Reed of the Boston Red Sox. Then we got Alejandro Pena with the New York Mets. Then we got Jeff King with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here, let me scooch these forward a little bit and see if I can get the rest of the cards. Oh, did I do these wrong? What the? I think I put something out of order back backwards here. 
Oh, no, 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 that's right. Yeah. Nope, I got them right. We just set them. These back in here. Now you can kind of see all the cards right there. Okay. So Tom Pagnosi with the St. Louis Cardinals. Then we've got Joe Oliver with the Cincinnati Reds. Joe Oliver. We've got Mike Witt with the New York Yankees. We've got Hector Villanueva with the Chicago Cubs. We got Dan Gladden with the Minnesota Twins. It says time to get go back to work. See you guys tonight in Ethan's. All right there, Chuck. You take care. Have a good day, David Justice with the Atlanta Braves. Mike Gallego with the Oakland Athletics. Tom Candiotti with the Cleveland Indians. We've got. Ozzy Smith with the St. Louis Cardinals. We've got Luis Polonia with the California Angels. All right, I'm trying to see the angle on that one. Randy Reddy with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Greg Harris with the Boston Red Sox. We've got our first checklist here. David Justice is on this checklist. David Justice, cards, card number one through 92. I think there's three, yeah, three checklists in this, in this set. All right. Next, we've got Kevin Mitchell with the San Francisco Giants. And we've got Mark McLemore with the Houston Astros. We've got Terry Steinbach with the Oakland Athletics. John Fishman's in the house. How you doing there, John? Thanks for popping in, visiting with us. We've got eight people watching. Five thumbs up, thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. See if we can get the double digits before I go through get through the set review. Tom Browning with the Cincinnati Reds. Here we go, our all-famous Matt Noakes with the New York Yankees. Then we've got uh, Mike Harkey with the Chicago Cubs. We've got Omar Vizquel with the Seattle Mariners. Then we've got Dave Bergman with the Detroit Tigers. We've got Matt Williams with the San Francisco Giants. We've got Steve Olin, Steve Olin, with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Craig Wilson with the St. Louis Cardinals. Then we've got Dave Steve with the Toronto Blue Jays. We've got Ruben Sierra with the Texas Rangers. We've got Jay Al with the Los Angeles Dodgers. We've got Scott Bradley with the Seattle Mariners. All right. And card number 100, Eric Yelding with the Houston Astros. You get a sip of water real quick here as I take a brief interruption and water break here. Right. Let's continue on here. We got there's a Hall of Famer, Ricky Henderson. With the Oakland Athletics. Then we got Jeff Reed with the Cincinnati Reds. Jeff Reed. Jimmy Key with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Terry Shumpert with the Kansas City Royals. Then we've got uh, Kenny Rogers, not the singer, but the ball player, Kenny Rogers, with the Texas Rangers. Cecil Fielder with the Detroit Tigers. 
Then we've got Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thompson with the San Francisco Giants. Then we've got Alex Cole with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Randy Milligan with the Baltimore Orioles. Then we got Andres Galarga with the Montreal Expos. Bill Spears with the Milwaukee Brewers. We've got Cal Daniels with the Los Angeles Dodgers. I don't know why I turned it over already. Henry Cotto with the CEO Murder sitting in the dugout with his bat. Saying, yeah, this is how I warm up. Uh, Casey Candel. Candel. Can, can, how do you say his last name? Candeli. Is it Candeli? Candley? <laughs> Kenny Rogers, some coward of the county. Uh -huh. uh, Jeff Blauser with the Atlanta Braves. Then we've got Hall of Famer Robin Yelp with the Milwaukee Brewers. And we've got Ben McDonald. Ben McDonald. Almost to the halfway point in the set here. Brett up. Oh. Brett Saberhagen with the Kansas City Rolls. Juan Gonzalez, one gone with the Texas Rangers. Then we've got Lou Whitaker. Lou Whitaker with the Detroit Tigers. Ellis Burks with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Charlie O'Brien with the New York Mets. John Smiley with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Tim Burke with the Montreal Expos. John Olrud with the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Eddie Murray with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Greg Maddox with the Chicago Cubbies. And we've got Kevin Topani with the Minnesota Twins. We've got Ron Gant with the Atlanta Braves. We've got Jay Bell with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Chris Hoyles with the Baltimore Orioles. We've got Tom Gordon, D. Gordon, Strange D, as his name is now, Strange D. Gordon's dad, with the Kansas City Royals. Kevin Seitzer, with the uh, Kansas City Royals. Then we've got Jeff Hewson, with the Texas Rangers. We've got Jerry Don Gleaton with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Jeff Brantley with the San Francisco Giants. That's the halfway mark of our set. Series 1 set, that is. Okay. Then we've got Felix Furman with the Cleveland Indians. And we've got Mike Devereaux with the Baltimore Orioles. Dalino De Shields with the Montreal Expos. Uh, David Wells with the Toronto Blue Jays. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tim Cruz with the Dodgers. And we've got Eric Hansen with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Mark Davidson with the Houston Astros. Uh, Tommy Gregg with the Atlanta Braves, first base and outfield. 
at a dual position on his card. Jim Ganter with the Milwaukee Brewers. Then we've got Jose Lind with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Danny Turtable with the Kansas City Royals. We've got Gino Petrelli. With the Texas Rangers. And we are missing again. Card number 149 is the only one I'm missing out of this set. Which is again, let me go back to it real quick. Uh, Travis Fryman with the Detroit Tigers, which is not here. I thought it was a complete series one set, but it was missing one card. And then Tim Nearing. Tim Nearing with the Boston Red Sox. It's card number 150. So Kevin McReynolds with the New York Mets. Uh, Joe Ursula. With the Baltimore Orioles, uh, Steve Frey with the Montreal Expos, All right. Dwayne Ward with the Toronto Blue Jays, Stan Javier with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Damon Berryhill with the Cubs. Uh, Gene Larkin with the Minnesota Twins. We've got Greg Olson with the Atlanta Braves. Mark Knudsen with the Milwaukee Brewers. Jay Thompson's in the house. How you doing there, Jay? Thanks for popping in today. Carmelo Martinez with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Storm Davis with the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Jim Abbott with the California Angels. Uh, Len Dykstra with the Philadelphia Phillies. Tom Bernuski, Bernuski with the Boston Red Sox. There we go. Dwight Gooden with the New York Mets. Let's see. Um, Jose Mesa with the Baltimore Orioles. Then here we go. Oil Cam Boyd with the Montreal Expos. Oil Cam Boyd. Next up to bat here, we've got Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. That's a Faith Family and Sports' is favorite player. Okay. Next we have Scott Sanderson with the New York Yankees. Uh, Mark Grace with the Chicago Cubs. Mark Guthrie with the Minnesota Twins. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, with the Atlanta Braves. Tomahawk Chop. <laughs> Gary Sheffield with the Milwaukee Brewers. And our third checklist. Uh, 125 through... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 120 or 93, sorry, through 184. And Roger Clemens is on this checklist here. That's two-thirds of the way through the set. On to the final third. Uh, Chris James with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Milt Thompson with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Donnie Hill with the California Angels. Wes Chamberlain with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, John Marzano with the Boston Red Sox. Oops. Got to put myself back in the chat here so I can see it. Oh. No, 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 no. What did I do? Uh, 
How could I have done that? Okay, hold on a second. I gotta. How did I do that? Okay, here we go. I was like, what on earth did I do? How did I close that by accident? Sorry, just bear with me a second. I gotta get back into my stream. <laughs> I don't know what I did for sure. How did I do that? I hope I can end later. Uh, should bring me back, I hope. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I closed that window. I closed one of my windows on my computer and it confused all get out on me. <laughs> but I am back in business again. Okay, I would have went to end the stream and it wouldn't, have let, it wouldn't let me end the stream. So there we go, Frank Viola with the New York Mets. Sorry about that interruption on my partner. Uh, I'm doing... I'm doing Red Snapper for tonight. Gonna grill it. Eric Anthony with the Houston Astros. Put this back here. There we go. Now I'm back to normal again. There we go. Jose Canseco with the Oakland Athletics. Scott Scudder with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Dave Eland with the New York Yankees. Luis Salazar with the Chicago Cubs. If you restart, do we get to do more free entries? <laughs> That's a good try there, Bifter. <laughs> I don't have to restart. I got it back. Pedro Munez with the Minnesota Twins. Steve Searcy with the Detroit Tigers. Uh, Don Robinson with the San Francisco Giants. Um, Sandy Alomar with the Cleveland Indians. Um, Jose De Leon with the St. Louis Cardinals. Vipster denied. <laughs> John Orton with the California Angels. Uh, Darren Dalton, Phillies in it. Yep, Philadelphia Phillies. I guess that one right. <laughs> uh, Mike Morgan with the Los Angeles Dodgers. We've got Greg Briley with the Seattle Mariners. All right. Carl Rhodes with the Houston Astros. Hall of Famer Harold Baines. Okay. Harold Baines. Let me get just set this down here so I don't forget it later. Okay. With the Oakland A's. Uh, Bill Duran with the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Alvaro Espinosa with the New York Yankees. Uh, Kirk McCaskill with the California Angels. Uh, Jose De Jesus with the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Jack Clark. Jack Clark with the Boston Red Sox. Um, Daryl Boston with the New York Mets. Pretty soon they might fall in a box and maybe readjust the rest up to the top pair soon. Randy Tomlin with the Pittsburgh Pirates. We've got Pedro Guerrero 
Not Vladimir, but Pedro Guerrero with the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Billy Hatcher with the Cincinnati Reds. Tim Leary with the New York Yankees. Ryan Sandberg with the Chicago Cubs, the Rhino. And Kirby Puckett with the Minnesota Twins. We've got Charlie LeBrant with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Rick Honeycutt with the Oakland A's. And these are going to probably fall in the box here soon, so I'm going to shift them over really quickly here. And just put the rest of the cards up on the stack and take them off as we go through them. Let me uh, get this out of the way really quick for now. So I don't bump the box and have them go all over the place. As long as I don't drop them. Okay. So we've got uh, Joel Skinner with the Cleveland Indians. Rex Hudler with the St. Louis Cardinals. Brian Harvey with the California Angels. Charlie Hayes with the Philadelphia Phillies. Matt Young with the Boston Red Sox. Terry Kennedy with the San Francisco Giants. Carl Nichols with the Astros. Uh, Mike Moore with the Athletics. Paul O'Neill with the Reds. Steve Sachs with the Mets. Sean Bosky with the Cubs. Rich Delicia with the Seattle Mariners. Lloyd Mosby with the Detroit Tigers. Mike Kingery with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nope, San Francisco Giants. Carlos Baerga with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, Bryn Smith with the St. Louis Cardinals. Todd Stottlemyre with the Toronto Blue Jays. Julio Franco with the Texas Rangers. Jim Gott with the Dodgers. Mike Schooler with the Seattle Mariners. Steve Finley with the Astros. Dave Henderson with the A's. Luis Quinones with the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Mark Witten with the Blue Jays. Brian McRae with the Royals. Rich Gossage with the Rangers. Rob Deere with the Detroit Tigers. Will Clark with the Giants. Albert Bell with the Cleveland Indians. Bob Melvin with the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, I think that fills up that slot there. And I'll just turn these over for the rest of the cards here. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer for the Montreal Expos. Dante Bichette, Bo Bichette's dad for the Milwaukee Brewers. Earl Hirschheiser with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pete O'Brien with the Seattle Mariners. Pete Harnish with the Houston Astros. Jeff Treadway with the Atlanta Braves. Julio Machado with the Milwaukee Brewers. Dave Johnson with the Baltimore Orioles. Kurt Gibson with is that Kansas City? Yep, Kansas City Royals. Kevin Brown with the Texas Rangers. Milk Collier with the Detroit Tigers. 
Jeff Reardon with the Boston Red Sox. David, uh, the 90 set was so good and the 91 was all hype except for a few gold leaf rookies. 92 leaf were good to build a black leaf set to keep. All right, nice intel there, Webster. Appreciate it. Um, David Cohn with the New York Mets. Gary Radu with the Pittsburgh Pirates, I believe. Yep. Junior Noba, Noboa with the Expos. Uh, Greg Myers with the Toronto Blue Jays. Dennis Cook with the Dodgers. Sorry. Put these last few cards in. Do, do a little bit of maintenance here. Joe Girardi with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, Alan Anderson with the Minnesota Twins. Paul Marek with the Braves. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds with the Pirates. Juan Bell. Juan Bell with the Baltimore Orioles. Russ Mormon with the Kansas City Royals. And we have our final checklist in the Series 1 set with George Brett on the back, card number 264. And the only card, I'll share a sneak peek for Leaf Series 2, which I do not have a complete set yet. We'll have to work on that one. Uh, sorry, in and out had it paused right after you got some Matt Noakes PC action. <laughs> and then Roger Clemens with the Boston Red Sox. Card number 488. So that takes care of our Leaf 1991 set there, of which I have the cards. All but one card, card number 149, is the one I'm missing from Series 1. <clears throat> and then... We will set this aside for now as being completed for now. Uh, okay, what, what did I say? Okay, there we go. I can squeeze it in there, put it back in the box later. And now we'll move on to our sneak peek. We'll probably do about half these cards, and then later this week we'll finish the other half of these. People and places cards. So let me see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do about half of the half of this grouping here. Without peeking, I'm gonna hold it right up and down. Do let me take two cards. That might be pretty close to about half. Make one card there, Blondo. Okay. Yeah, I think that's half there. So we'll do it this way, and when I get through the halfway mark, then we'll get into the Bipster box. But let's go through and do this other mini preview of people and places. I'll have to make a note. I should make a note and go back for, no, I'll say it in my title, people and places. I'll look for the people and places and put it in a, in a playlist later on down the road. No peeking, sir. I didn't peek, you saw me. I was doing it right down here, just separating them half and half. Um, I didn't peek. I don't know why I don't. I guess he just wants me to su be surprised when I do get the cards. When I go through the cards. Is that what it is there, Bipster? You just want me to be surprised when I see what comes up? <laughs> no peeking, he said. I know for a fact... I have that one. We'll search for it. 
Okay, that's fine. And then I believe I do have the leaf. Um, we'll see. I might have leaf uh, series one and series two, but I'm thinking I just have series two for some reason. But we will see when I get ready to search for my packs for tomorrow's Throwback Thursday. Okay? And it's kind of appropriate. You know, the, the, the black borders on these cards and stuff, black, uh, the black uh, corners for the cards, and then the, the gray border. So, so John Provost. John Provost is our first one up to bat here. I'll just kind of hold these up here. It says, For seven years, fans of Lassie followed the adventures of the beloved dog and his friend, Timmy, who was seven when the series started. Provost's acting days ended short of his 20th birthday when his family moved to Australia, and he returned in 1990 to be in the new Lassie. So there you go. John Provost, born March 12, 1950. <laughs> I like that. Cynthia for president. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next we have up here is Rockwell. Rockwell. Artist for collecting and trading. So it says Norman Rockwell. Rockwell's first commission was to paint four Christmas cards, but his fame as one of the great American artists emanated from his nearly half century as illustrator for the Saturday Evening Post and The Boy's Life. His more than 4,000 original works typically depicted scenes of everyday American life. Okay. So next up, the, up we have here is Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett? Everybody knows Farrah Fawcett. Perhaps the most coveted poster girl in American history, Fawcett stole hearts beginning in the mid-70s, earning herself immediate acting opportunities. She starred as Detective Jill Monroe of ABC's Charlie Charlie's Angels, garnering a place on TV Guide's listing of the 50 greatest TV stars of all time. Farrah Fawcett. Next up to bat here, we've got Bob Baffert, Alan and Ginter. Bob Baffert. Uh, champion horse trainer Bob Baffert, one of the most successful of his time, Bob led all North American trainers and earnings four years in a row, 1998 to 2001, and won three straight Eclipse Awards. Baffert grew up on a cattle and chicken farm in Arizona, got his start in quarter horses, and has gone on to great thoroughbred success. Four of his horses, Silver Charm, Real Quiet, Point Given, and War Emblem, won two triple crown legs. Boom, Baffert. Baffert's a boom? <laughs> that was an interesting card, that's for sure. Next up to bat here, we've got Brian Nelson. Brian Nelson. All right. Brian Nelson, one of two golfers with a PGA Tour stop named in his honor. Arnold Palmer, Nelson won five majors and 52 tournaments in just 14 years. His 1945 season was the most dominant in history. He won 18 events, 11 in a row, with a record-setting 68 and 33 stroke average that stood for 55 years. It's a testament to his character that he is remembered as a better person. You can always argue who was the greatest player. Broadcaster Ken Venturi said, but Byron is the finest gentleman the game has ever known. I spy Eichel. Did I do that? Urkel? Urkel? <laughs> All right, next up to that here, we've got J. Leo White. J. Leo White, an actor. 
Okay, there we here we go. J. Leo White, actor. White's career rolls on some of the most beloved sitcoms in history, like The Jeffersons and Full House, but he'll forever be known as Steve Urkel, the nerdy neighbor on Family Matters. His talent went beyond playing TV's most famous geek, as he also wrote several episodes of the show. J. Leo White. Oh, that's nice to know. <laughs> Not all these are cool cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are cool cards there, Bipster. <laughs> Little known facts about people. Anthony, civil rights leader for, the, for collecting and trading. Susan B. Anthony, an activist in the anti-slavery temperance and especially the women's equality movements in the 1800s. Susan B. Anthony is one of the true giants of civil rights 14 years after her death, drawing on her groundwork as writer, orator, and civil agitator. Women receive the right to vote. Okay. Next we have up is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Helen Ginter, 2007. It says, FDR, the 32nd president and one of the most popular leaders in American history, was elected to four terms in the White House. His New Deal economic programs led to the nation led the nation out of the Great Depression in the 1930s, contending that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Roosevelt, who died in 1945, launched Social Security, brought relief to the unemployed, and entered the USA into World War II. And following Franklin D. Roosevelt, we have Eleanor Roosevelt in 2007. Gracious, sincere, and compassionate, Eleanor captured the heart of a nation. In addition to her roles as mother and trusted wife, confidant to her husband Franklin, she understood the flight, the plight of Americans during the Great Depression. Mrs. Roosevelt also gave the role of First Lady new significance by traveling to make speeches, addressing the country on radio, and writing a newspaper column. Next up to bat here, we've got Jacqueline Kennedy. Jacqueline Kennedy, First Lady. When it comes to U.S. presidents, it's the Commander-in-Chief who attracts the masses and cameras. When John F. Kennedy held the office, his elegant First Lady may have been just as beloved by the nation. Jackie Kennedy brought a dash of everyday American life and a modern touch to the White House. Eleanor Roosevelt had a quote, sorry, about the morality of us. Sound bad until she thanked God for us. All right. Next up to bat, we've got Coolio Rapper, American Panini. Coolio, the ultimate, the ultimate summer anthem of the mid-90s. Fantastic Voyage off Coolio's debut album, It Takes a Thief, peaked at number three on the Billboard. Hot 100 in 1994. Two years later, his single, Gangsta's Paradise, from the movie Dangerous Minds, was number one on the Billboard Hot for three weeks. Coolio. Heinz Ketchup. Tristar Oback Card. John Henry Heinz, from a door-to-door -door vegetable salesman at the age of eight to bottling his own horseradish at nine, Heinz founded Heinz Noble and Company and began marketing horseradish. In 1876, he found F. and J. Heinz with his brother and cousins. One of the company's first products was tomato ketchup. Eventually, he bought out his partners and changed the name to H.J. Heinz Company. Interesting on some of these stats here. 
Next we got up here Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth. Rita Hayworth, an actor, the daughter of a dance instructor, Hayworth moved from Brooklyn to Hollywood with her family in 1927 and soon began dancing with her father in the, Me in the Mexican border town of Tijuana. At the age of 16 in 1934, she earned her first film credit, eventually going on to appear in 61 features during her 37-year career. Next up to bat here is Pete Weber. Pete Weber. Alan Ginter, 2000, oops, 2008 tops. Boy, he just wants to fly away on me. He just wants to fly away on me. But he's a bowling champion. Pete Weber. If Pete is known as something of a maverick on the Professional Bowlers Association Tour, he also regard, is regarded as one of its most accomplished. Accomplished players, the Missourian has won more than 30 career tournaments, and only the great Earl Anthony, with 10, has amassed more major titles than Weber's 8. Pete already has joined his legendary dad, Dick Weber, as a PBA Hall of Fame inductee. A bowling legend. I miss going to Tijuana, man. Awesome nights I will never remember. <laughs> All right, Junior Johnson. Junior Johnson. Auto racer. Is it NASCAR? <laughs> Junior Johnson, auto racer. A pioneer of stock car racing, Johnson is considered the first driver to make use of drafting techniques to pick up speed behind a competitor. It's just one of the crafty maneuvers that helped him to 50 wins in his 14 seasons at the cup level, earning him International Motorsports Hall of Fame induction in 1990. Right, our next card up to bat is Robert Carradine. Robert Carradine, a Pinini American. Carradine was in nearly 20 movies before landing the part of Lewis Scotlinick, leader of the Campus Geeks in Revenge of the Nerds. In 1984, he later acted in one nerd sequel to another and another and directed another. Carradine also played Lizzie McGuire's dad on the Disney Channel. Next up to bat here, we've got... Uh, Sundance Kid, outlaw in the United States. <laughs> Sundance Kid, born 1867, Montclair, Pennsylvania, died November 6, 1908. Born Harry A. Longabaugh, Longabaugh in Pennsylvania. The Sundance Kid acquired his famous moniker after spending 18 months in jail for stealing a horse and a saddle in Sundance, Wyoming. In 1887, he later joined up with a gang of criminals called the Wild Bunch and robbed numerous banks and trains, according to legend. He and partner Butch Cassidy fled to South America in 1900, where they were shot after robbing a payroll. Okay, next up to bat is Bradley Cooper, actor. Bradley Cooper, an actor. Cooper first caught our attention in a big way as Sack Lodge, Owen Wilson's competition for Rachel McAdams in Wedding Cashers. The Hangover made him a superstar, but with back-to-back -back Oscar nominations for Silver Linings, Playback, and American Hustle, he has moved well beyond mere funny man status. Okay. I think we're getting close to about the halfway mark here. Probably a few more cards to go. Uh, Charlton Heston. Everybody knows Charlton Heston. He is an awesome actor. So an Illinois-born Air Force veteran, Heston enjoyed playing an acting an acting career that spanned six decades. He appeared in 100 films, including some of the most defining works in the history of film. He won Best Actor 
Academy Award for Ben-Hur in 1959, and then a decade later starred in the cultural touchdown, The Planet of the Apes. It's a 2014 Panini product. Next up to bat here, and our last one for this half, is Cody, Wild West Showman. 2009 Goodwin Champions. William Frederick Buffalo Bill Cody was a colorful and well known figure the turn of the century a scout in civil in the civil war he later joined a traveling troupe staging western themed shows that became wildly popular around the world and lucrative for cody who started to uh, started a town in wyoming of the same name and this is from 2009 goodwin champions upper deck product so hopefully you're enjoying this. Oh yeah, that's right. He did star in the Ten Commandments too. Best it is too, too liberal. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so next round we will start when we do the next mini preview to finish this off for now as a sneak peek with Christopher Snyder. We'll start with Christopher Snyder. So let me put this portion back in the box. Now we're going to have some, really have some fun here with some bonus entries into the Bipster box today. Okay, so let me put this in here for now. Close up this plastic here. And when we do the next preview, let me put it back in my box here for our series. All right, and we'll see how we break down that series when we get to it. But this is my, my people and places box. People and places box. Provided by a content provider on the channel. I'm gonna make sure we don't. Oh man, I'm scratching the wall up over there. My wife will kill me. Okay, so let's get the Bipster box ready here. We'll get the Bipster box, and we're gonna do it this way. And get my wheel of names ready here. I'm going to have to use a bigger sticker for this one. I'm going to use a full green sticker for this one because we're going to do five packs today as per request by the Bipster. Okay. So let me go into Google here and get my wheel of names ready. There we go. Okay. So, oh, let me turn on the ringer. So I don't forget. Uh, let me see. I'm going to use that one for now. How's that sound? Just make some minor adjustments here. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit more interesting now. How's that sound? Okay, I slowed down the spinning of the wheel so you don't get so dizzy. <laughs> Just so you don't get so dizzy there. But we will, uh, as you can see on the wheel there, let me see, let me get this. Actually, I can do that that way. 
That way you can kind of see the pipster box on the bottom here. Let me get this all set up first. Bipster, why are you always jumping the gun early? Donald, you need to wrench Jay and Sonia. Oh, I thought I already did. Uh, yeah. I thought I already did. There's that one. And there's that one. Okay. So I think we're good to go here. There we go. Okay, so... Um, what I want people to do, I see what Bipster's already hot, jumping the gun already. So we are going to open up five packs. Let me get this ready here. And we'll have a little bit more fun today. We're going to do star players on top and HOF on the bottom. Let's see, we're going to do one, two, three. There, we're going to have five packs we're going to choose here. So you can see it. We're going to do five packs. We're going to spin, spin the wheels. So I need everybody that's here. We've got seven people watching. Five thumbs up, or seven, nine thumbs up. Almost made double digits there. We almost made double digits. There you go. Jay Thompson is a blue crew. Socializing with Sonia. Are you still here today? Are you hanging out with us there, Sonia? Just want to get an acknowledgement there. Um, let's see. I know Bipster jumped the gun already. Oh, he, he retracted it. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna copy and paste it in there for you, Bipster. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and choose five different numbers so you have a chance to get five additional entries. But what I will do just one day for today as a special bonus: if you by chance guess all five numbers, you'll get ten free entries. So make your guesses good picks. Make your guesses good picks, and we will start the guessing game right now. And as of now, I'll go to about 11.25. So please put in your guesses for five different packs. We're going to do spin the wheel five different times for five packs. Only Deerman has the gold wrench. I don't even see Deerman anymore on the channel. He'll probably be in Ethan's tonight because he's a moderator on Ethan's channel. But, uh, yes, I'm still here. Okay there, Sonia. So let's go ahead and put the five guesses in there. Five different numbers between 1 and 52. Five different... There you go, Bipster. Five different numbers between 1 and 52. Bipster mixed it up a little bit this time. Okay. So you have roughly two more minutes to go. Or a minute and a half to guess five different numbers when my computer says uh, 1125 all guesses need to be into the chat to be counted for the free spot giveaways for the free spot giveaways okay uh, Jay, you guess you guess six numbers. You, you you have to guess five. You have to guess five, Jay. <laughs> John's got one, two, three, four, five. That was going to be my next question. Yeah, only guess five different numbers. Oopsie, I can't count. That's okay. All you gotta do is take one off there, there, Jay. <laughs> Um, but yep, you can get five entries if you guess all five packs that are going to be chosen out today. And uh, since there were questions there for a second, I will give my computer till 1126, one more minute exactly. So Jay said 2, 9, 10, 17, and 44. Okay, so John's got a guess in, Jay's got a guess in, Bipster's got a guess in. How about you, Sonia? Guess five different numbers between 1 and 52. 
Five different numbers between 1 and 52. Like Jay has always said, all it takes is one free entry to get into it, to get a prize. That's all it takes is one. <laughs> Having a terrible time of it. Oh, what'd you do? Type the wrong numbers in? <laughs> all right. As soon as my computer says 1126, the time will be over. 11, 12, 23, 25, and 54. No, there's only 52 numbers there. Between 1 and 52 there, uh, Sonia. Uh, you got to change your 55. <laughs> That's okay. I'm easily confused anyway. So as soon as uh, Sonia fixes hers, we'll be good to go. I was four minutes behind. No problem there, cards in my car. Guess five different numbers between 1 and 52 really quick. Really quick. 1 and 52. Choose. We're going to choose five packs out today because I didn't do any yesterday. So we're going to do five today. As per Bipster. 11, 12, 23, 25, and 33. All right. And cards in my car, I'll give you your last guess. you got to get it in really quick. Or... Uh, that's my fault, not saying anything, but I'm here. No problem. Just uh, give me five different guesses, five different numbers, and I'll refresh my chat, and we'll get ready to spin the wheel. As uh, as I get ready to wait for Robert to put his five guesses. Okay, he's got them in there. All right, let me do a refresh. I am going to... Spin the wheel, or shuffle up the numbers first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to try and make the wheel a little bit bigger so you can see it. And then we're going to we are going to spin the wheel now five times, and we'll see if anybody got any lucky numbers. Number 17 is next. Sorry, it's I, I zoomed in too much. There, if I leave it there. Okay, so 17 is the first one. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel four more times. So here's spin number two. When you shuffle, do you go to Buffalo? Number 14 is pack number two. Okay. And you guys can leave me some little side notes there if your number does come up that you chose. Let's go ahead and close this and spin number three. That's right. Don't forget the like. Oh, we got 10 likes now. Six people watching. 10 thumbs up. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. Pack number three is number 25. All right. Spin number four. <laughs> Gotta have some fun, right? 
when it's slowing down, we might have... It's going to be close. Pack number 50 is pack number 4. And we are going to do one more spin for our fifth pack. number 31 is pack number five so there we go let me close this and I'll switch over you can see the results just so you do know there are our numbers 17 14 25 50 and 31 so let me set this aside for now Oops, that's, that was nice. Got a bit on one of my cards on my eBay auctions. Okay, so let me set this aside for now. We're done with the box. Let's, un, let's open up. Bipster finally did not get shut out. He got a pack. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready here to pull out our packs. And move on to phase two. Okay, let me set that back in the back there out of the way. And we're going to do 17, so 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 17, 16, 15, 14, and then 25. 52, 51, 52, 51, 50, and 31. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So those are going to be our five packs. Don't anybody pick anything yet. Yay, I got 31. Okay. So let me go back real quick, make my listing of who got numbers correctly. Sorry, Big, Way, Big Ray was, I was the last person. Oh, that's, that's fine. No problem there, Big Ray. I can get you in here. Uh, so let me go back up here. Did... You, di you didn't guess earlier, Big Ray? I guess you didn't, did you? Bipster started up there. Um, I'll, I'll get a consensus of the group. How about a consensus of the group? Should we let Big Ray's guess stand? Should we let Big Ray allow... Should, should I allow his, his guesses? Give me a couple thumbs up if you guys don't mind. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. But it was pretty close to the end of the wheel spinning. Oh, let me just see what Big Ray chose there. Let's see. 25. <laughs> Big Ray. Of course you're late. <laughs> um, hold on a second. Move on. It was a joke. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, Big Ray. Because I was like, wow, you did pretty good on your guesses. He got 17. He got 25. He got 31. He got 50. He only missed 14. <laughs> Thanks for your honesty there, Big Ray. So let me go back up to Bipster here. Nobody after the refresh counts. I'm going to have to stick with that from now on. It was a nice little joke there. 
<laughs> okay, so let's see here quick. What do we have? Let me go with uh, Bipster first. Bipster got 2018. No 18. Bipster got 25. Okay, so Bipster got one. And then, who do we get next here? Uh, socializing got 11, 12, 23, 25. So socializing with Sonya got one at 25. Okay, and then Jay Thompson got 2, 9, 10, 31. Jay got one. And 44. Okay. And then that's no problem there. Socializing with Sonia. 33. Okay. No problem. I was late. 52. Got that. Then I think it was cards in my car. Got 5, 15, 20, 25. And you, there we go. So cards in my car got to get, got one too. Okay, let me get those free entries in really quick. And then we will get ready for phase two. Um, so let me get uh, let me get these four correct guesses into the wheel of names. So we've got uh, Bipster and Jay. Pipster and J each got an entry, so I can do that in one cut and paste here because they have an entry right next door to each other. All right, I've got J and Pipster. Then we got to get socializing with Sonia. There she is, socializing with Sonia. And next, we got to do cards in my car with our Posada. There's Robert right there. Let me copy and paste his channel name in here. Okay. Now I've got those four entries in. Jay Thompson, Bipster of All Things Wax Pack, Socializing with Sonia, and Cards in My Car with Arposa. That gives us 459 entries. Let me get that saved here really quick. Get back into the chat. And let me pull these packs out, and then we will pull out of the nursery here and fill up our Bipster box here. Oh, Lord. What are you doing here? I tried to sneak back under the bed. They're trying to run away from me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. There we go. Okay, you guys can go back to sleep down there. We'll see you tomorrow, probably, for Throwback Thursday. So let me pull out these babies first. We got uh, 17, and then we've got 14, then we've got 25, then we've got 50, and then we've got 31. Wow, big stack of cards today to go through. Okay. So that can go away for now. All right. Now for our final phase here. Let me get caught up on the chat here. Let's see. May make 500 entries by the giveaway. We're definitely getting closer here. That's for sure. Um, only takes one entry to win. I know from experience. There you go. 
All right. So let me do a refresh really quick here so I know where I let up. Can I hit the button yet? Not yet. <laughs> let me explain how it works there, Bibster. Okay. Now remember, we're going to go through. Oh, wait. I got to put these packs in first the replacements. Okay, that one goes there, this one goes here, this one goes here. Uh, oh, uh oh, those were sticking together. That one goes there, and this one goes here. And now we'll put the Bipster box back to sleep. Okay, and now we will go through these five packs here. And I need need you to choose what we're going to have more of. Oh, actually, I should show it this way so you can't cheat. Uh, yes, it does. It does. It, it has a logo. It has the trademark. It's not the one missing the trademark. But thanks there. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for telling me to check. Um, so, yeah. So, I need you to type in either star... Or you can put a, a, a star emoji in there. Or you can put HOF for Hall of Fame. And then when we're done going through all five packs, we'll see how many star players we have and how many Hall of Fame players we have. So I will give everybody until 11.45 to put either star or Hall of Fame. Or if I get the current participants uh, to... Uh, Put the information in there, okay? So star, our Hall of Famers, is going to be our next choices. So choose either star players or Hall of Famers who's going to get the most cards. One guess per person. One guess per person. So cards in my car is saying Hall of Fame. Bipster is saying, saying Hall of Fame. So let's see, we're going to say uh, Bipster's HOF, Cards is HOF, uh, J is Star, uh, Big Ray is Star, Big Ray is star. Cards in my car. Hall of Fame by one. <laughs> uh, socializing with Sonya says stars. And I've been wrong five days in a row. Will the losing streak end? Well, you already were able to choose a pack. So you're doing good there. So we've got five people. We've got eight people watching. One of them might be my stream that's up on the screen, no? Um, so anybody else want to make a guess? We got less than a minute to go here. Let me see what it says in the participants here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like we may have everybody in here right now that is actively interacting in the chat has given a guess. So as soon as my computer says 11.45, I'm going to hit the refresh, and then no more entries are eligible. No more entries will be eligible. We got eight people watching. Somebody might have just popped in here. Just type in star or Hall of Fame player. You don't even need to know all the details. You'll find out at the end of the stream. All right, so if you just popped into the stream, just... Guess like they're done, either star or Hall of Fame. Type in either the word star or HOF, and whichever cards we choose the most out of these five packs, if your guess is correct, you will get the extra one in. Uh, let's grip them and rip them. Yes, it is. I do have 1145. I am going to do the refresh on the chat. And we are going to get ready to grip and rip. 
And let me set my my cheat sheet here with my less known Hall of Famers that might pop up in these packs. All right, and we're going to start with pack number 17 first. Pack number 17 and start gripping and ripping these cards. See what we can find here. Hopefully you guys, when you do get a chance, you're checking out my auctions on eBay. Each and every week I do have auctions for sure. So we've got Don Mattingly, star player. Star player. We got Derek Jeter says, so this is a Derek Jeter card. It goes with my Derek Jeter sort. Derek Jeter. Bipster. Bipster. We got a Spirit of St. Louis. So unfortunately, we got to take a, 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 a training time out here. Bipster. Bipster, Bipster, Bipster. This is not a star player or a Hall of Famer. Star players and Hall of Famers are different than the Spirit of St. Louis. This is Lindbergh's plane. The Spirit of St. Louis is not a baseball player. But now we got to read the back because it's part of our People and Places series. Spirit of St. Louis, a single engine plane with a cramped cockpit a top speed of 133 miles per hour and a determined pilot made history and became world famous on May 21st, 1927. Just thinking, six more years, it'll be a hundred years since that first flight. When the spirit of St. Louis and Charles Lindbergh landed in France after completing the first non-stop fixed wing flight from New York to Paris. Lindbergh became an instant celebrity and media sensation. The Spirit of St. Louis made 174 flights and inspired books, films, and replicas before retiring to the National Air and Space Museum. This is from a 2012 Panini product. Thanks for the commercial interruption there, Bipster. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the box later for cards we already previewed. <laughs> Thank you there, Bipster. Lindbergh was a star with his star wife as well. Okay, I'll leave it here in the side star section. Separate than the, the Hall of Famers, though. We'll make sure we keep the separation factor going there. Lindbergh is a star, okay. So Earl Weaver, Earl Weaver is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Cleon Jones, Cleon Jones is just a star player. Minnie Minosa, Minnie Minosa, star player. Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis, star player. Frank Howard. Frank Howard. Star player. Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes is a contemporary still playing player. I'm pretty sure Jose Reyes. He's not going to be on here yet. All right. Then we got Andrew Jones. The only Jones that's in the Hall of Famer is the is Chipper, right? Chipper Jones. <coughs> we got Scott Rowland here. Scott Rowland, Cincinnati Reds, star player. Don Mattingly. There's another Don Mattingly. Yes, it does have us that does have the trademark. We got an Ozzie Gee and Mini. We got an Ozzie Gee and Mini here star player. We got a, a doubles and triples, Samuel and Reigns. So we have a Tim Reigns here. He's a Hall of Famer. Okay. Then we got Gooden and Clemens. Gooden, I don't think Gooden or Clemens, they're just star players. Gooden and Clemens. Carter, Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. And Jim Bottomley. 
bottom lane. It'll be coming up in two weeks. This week, um, this week, our Hall of Fame Friday is going to be Wade Boggs. We're going to, uh, card is worth at least two stars. No, only one star. One, 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 one selection per card. <laughs> but nice try. Okay, so far it looks like the stars have it. So, so far it looks like Jay, Big Ray, and Socializing with Sonya are in the winner's seat so far. But you never know. The Hall of Famers can pick up the pace. All it takes is one pack to pick up the pace. Let's uh, throw that team bag off to the side there and go through pack number two. Harvey Haddix. Harvey Haddix, star player. Eno Slaughter. Eno Slaughter is a Hall of Famer. Leo DeRocher, Hall of Famer. Francisco Lindor, active player. Herb Pennick, Herb Pennick, Hall of Famer. Tommy Davis, star player. Don Larson, star player. Early Win. Early Win is a Hall of Famer. Derek Jeter says of Grady Sizemore. Carlton Fisk is a Hall of Famer. Double. Ernie Banks is a Hall of Famer. Double. Stan Kovaleski. Kovaleski. Hall of Famer. Troy Tulowitzki, current player. I think. And Troy Tulowitzki still playing. Um, yep, they're, they're making a rebound in this pack. Uh, Jose Reyes. Um, Jose Reyes. Reyes. Uh, is it Brian Phillips? Brandon Phillips. Prince Fielder. Evan Longoria. Cody Bellinger. And Kiki Collier. Kiki Collier is a Hall of Famer. So the stars still have it, but the Hall of Famers are catching up. Meh, at the Bipster. You always choose the Hall of Famers, right? <laughs> I, I watch one of these days when, when Bipster decides to choose the stars, the Hall of Famers will win. <laughs> I don't know there, Bipster. Did you, did you stack the decks? All right, Juan Maracal, Hall of Famer. Fred Lynn, Fred Lynn, star player. Dwight Evans, Dwight Evans, star player. Phil Necro, I don't know why I keep looking. I know Phil Necro's in there. Johnny Mize, I just don't want to do it wrong. Johnny Mize, Hall of Famer. Yogi Berra, Berra's a Hall of Famer. Yep. Uh, Ted Loins, Ted Loins, Hall of Famer. Francisco Lindor, current player. Paul Wainer, Paul Wainer. Lloyd and Paul are both in the Hall of Fame. Trey Mancini, pray for Trey. Carl Farillo, Farillo, star player. Moose Skowron, Skowron, star player. Dave Winfields, Hall of Famer. Um, Gene Woodling, action packed. Gene Woodling, star player. Ed Cranepole, Cranepole, star player. Wally Moon, action packed. Moon, 
Star Player, Virgil Trucks. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. I would remember a name like that. Um, Luis Gonzalez with the Dodgers. Luis Gonzalez. Uh, Starling Castro. Oh, Bipster, you threw a sticker card in here. Guess it's good. It has my Seattle Mariners and Twins and Yankees and Oakland A's, but no player. So I guess we'll have to throw that in the star pack because it's definitely not Hall of Fame. He keeps throwing oddball cards in here. Gotcha. <laughs> and then Ryan Zimmerman for a turkey red from uh, 2007. Well, that round there in round three, I think the, the star players picked up some ground there, Bipster. So let's see. We got Bipster and Cards in My Car with our Posada are slightly behind, but we do have two more packs to go. Two more packs to go. Let's get into pack number four. Okay, pack number four. Uh, we got Corey Clover. Corey Kluber, star player, Manny Mata, Manny Mata, star player, uh, Rasmus, Colby Rasmus, current player, I'm pretty sure, it definitely can't be in the Hall of Fame yet, if he was playing in 2014, well, be close, but I haven't heard much of Rasmus, Bobby Thompson, Thompson, Not Samuel, but Bobby. Luke Appling. Appling is Hall of Famer. Jim Rice is a Hall of Famer with Boston. Jim Rice. Hunter Pence with the Astros. Felix Hernandez with the Seattle Mariners. It will be in the star group, but not in the Hall of Fame yet. Hugh Duffy. Hugh Duffy. Hall of Famer, double. Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. Chick Haffey, Hall of Famer, double. Uh, Adam Jones with Baltimore, double. Johnny Damon, Johnny Damon with the Yankees, double. Ian Kinsler with the Tigers. We got a Derek Jeter says of Kevin Kuklis again. Derek Jeter. I don't know. You gotta you gotta pull for a for a real heavy uh, Hall of Fame stack here, Bipster and Robert, to try and pull this one out of out of the woods. And we got these three cards here that go on on the star stack since they're. Only Hall of Famers are eligible to be in the Hall of Fame. Not future Hall of Famers. They're star players now. Then when they get inducted, they become a Hall of Famer. So Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell. Hall of Famer. Ralph Kiner. Ralph Kiner. Hall of Famer. A double. Billy Williams, Billy Williams, Hall of Famer, Billy Williams double, Cesar Cedeno with the Astros, Cedeno, he's still probably, I think he's still, no, he's not playing anymore, he was playing, he had 17 years in the majors though, Bill Scowron, Scowron, star player, Stop the show. If it's a close one, the random card should not count. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Their cards, my card with Arbosada. But we got another commercial break. Bipster decided to pull another fast one. Max Bear Jr., an actor from the golden ages of Panini. I guess this is another star card, huh? Hint, hint. 
but I don't think it's going to be that close. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't look that way. Uh, the bear name was held in highest regard in America and around the world as the family provided millions of people with entertainment. Bear Jr.'s father, Max, made it big in the 30s as a heavyweight boxing champion. The younger bear found his calling in Hollywood as an actor, screenwriter, producer, and director. He's most famous for his role as Jethro Bodine on TV's Beverly Hillbillies. 2013 Panini? That's who that looks like. Jethro. That's Jethro in the Hall of Fame. There you go, Jay. <laughs> He's not quite in the Hall of Fame, but sure does sound good, right? We'll put him in your star player stack here as an actor. All right, now we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. says of Warren Spann. So this is a double Hall of Famer card. Then we got Hanley Ramirez with the Florida Marlins. Double. And we've got a Eric Campbell running back for Houston in the golden ages of Panini with the Houston Oilers, Eric Campbell. Ot plus ot equals. <laughs> you did it, Bipster, not me. All right, so uh, is Eric Campbell in the Football Hall of Fame? Does anybody know? Can anybody look that up? If he's in the in the Football Hall of Fame, we can call him a Hall of Famer. He in the Adult Industry Hall of Fame. Campbell is a Hall of Famer. Okay, I'll take your word on that, Pipster. And it's a double. There we go. We got a Jim Rice. Jim Rice is a Hall of Famer. All right. Um, uh, Dave Bancroft. Dave Bancroft is a Hall of Famer. Norm Cash is a star player. Yeah, with the Houston Oilers. Yep, you got that right there, Sonia. Earl Campbell, not Eric. Yeah, Earl Campbell. Running back for the Houston Oilers. Norm Cash. Norm Cash. Is a star player. Uh, Miller Huggins. Miller Huggins. In the Hall of Fame. Miller Huggins, Miller Huggins, and Nellie Fox, Nellie Fox, Hall of Fame, Nellie Fox. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's the star players and here's the Hall of Famers. I mean, if if you guys want me to make it official like we always do, I will count. But my guess is... My guess is the star player is one. Fox is a Hall of Famer. Fox? Who's Fox? Okay. So um, I'll count it just to make it official. But we'll, we'll, we'll count the star cards first since they're on top. And we'll go from there, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 
47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So 59 stars, 59 stars, 59 star cards. Okay, now we'll count the Hall of Famers. Just to make it official. Because there was a, a lot of thick action pack cards there. But we might have about the same in the Hall of Famer group too. But we will see. But there might be more thinner cards here. We'll see. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 4, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 49 Hall of Famers. Bipster was denied again. <laughs> so 49 Hall of Famers. To 59 stars. So, according to my list here, the stars won. J, Big Ray, and Socializing with Sonya. Bipster denied seven days in a row. Sorry, Bipster. Let me get our wheel of names up here and add in. J. Thompson, Socializing with Sonya. And Big Ray. Let me get Big Ray in here really quick since he's right here. All right, let me get Big Ray's. Um, and then we've got Jay Thompson. And socializing with Sonia. All got entries for the last ones in the stream for today. All right, boom. That gives us 462 entries into the Wheel of Names for the month of April. 462, so we need 38 more to get to the next tier. And we've got what? Two more days. We got Thursday and Friday. Two more days to get 38 entries. We'll see if it happens. And if so, we will have five prizes to give away. We will have five prizes to give away. So hopefully you all enjoyed the stream today. We are almost done with this little sticky pad. We're gonna have we'll, we'll be able to start a new sticky pad here after tomorrow's stream. But other than that, I think we got everything covered today. Put that back in the back there. Set that here. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's stream as much as I did. It was fun going through that 91 leaf. Uh, Series 1 set, minus only one card missing. That was pretty good. I thought it was a complete set, but then I double verified it last night and realized I was missing card number 149. So it's about 99.99% .99 complete. Just missing one card in Series 1. But we'll get that, get that all set and good to go. So other than that, we will definitely see everybody tomorrow. Hopefully, same bad time, same bad channel. 
we will end it, be in the different setup with my phone. And we'll be in 8 millimeter mood mode doing our throwback Thursday. And if as long as I do have the Leaf 1991 uh, Leaf Series 2, we'll probably open up some of those cards to see if we can find some of them gold cards. Okay? But if not, whether it's Series 1 or Series 2, we'll see what we can find tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I've got some Leaf 1991 in my pack boxes and, and behind me. So other than that, hopefully you all enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to like the live stream. That's right. Thummies up, thummies up, thummies up for me. We, had, we got nine, just had somebody leave. Eight people watching, 11 thumbs up. You all take care. Appreciate everybody being in here this morning. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Same bat time, same bat channel. Don't forget to, to check out my other items that I do stream up to. Jethro and Earl. What a pair. <laughs> oh, there you go on the top there. Jethro and Earl. Okay. But, um, so yeah. Uh, check out my other content that uploads every every uh, Sunday morning and Thursday morning at 7 a.m. It's a uh, hymn story series. Uh, I do have my Bible reading on my channel. If you do want somebody to just read the Bible to you, you can go through my playlists for that. I have playlists for all my different types of content I create on the channel, and I will always continually be adding the new streams into the current playlists that are there for the different days that I do my streaming and the different series I've done through the years. Okay, uh, again, this is celebrating almost, uh, well, the, I have my first full year of stream being monetized last year and this year is my second so until then you all have a great wonderful and blessed day take care and as bipster always says in his videos when he ends be every goodbye everybody and be blessed bye for now and take